Hi, everyone. Um, welcome to our trainer meeting. <laughs> we always start the day and the week together on Monday. Um, and today we were um, preparing for the retreat, which is happening on Sunday. Um, so diving into the topic of worthiness and how we've all been traveling with that theme in our own way. And we thought it'd be actually quite useful to share that um, so that you can have a start to feel into how many ways this theme has of showing up. So Sigon, would you like to share yeah. how you, what's been going on for you about with this? Yeah, for me, the main topic about worth, being worthy is about my voice, voicing what I think and what I sense or feel and I was actually as a kid I was totally um, shy and would have always just been quiet you know if as soon as somebody would have said something against me or against what I thought I would just retreat back and not say anything and I did that for a long time also in the um, for the sake of peace really mm. just mm, not say it just for the sake of peace and that has changed big time and why? Because I really feel whatever I feel and what I think is just as worthy and worthwhile as anybody else's thoughts. So, and if I don't voice it, this is not for peace. This will just mean that my voice will never be heard and, and voices that are thinking the same as me. So that has big time changed for me and it feels so good to mm. just do it gorgeous i think there might be some people out there who might recognize just a little bit of that dynamic <laughs> yeah <laughs> um and maybe when you're watching you recognize that too um of course there is um and and oh god and this is the thing right we we can know these things about how important all these voices are and we can talk about how grateful we are that Sigun you have found that voice and that you are using it now um, because without our all of our voices we will never create our new future right that future that is worth living for all of us we need all the voices there um, but it's like it's one example of how that theme of worthiness travels through us um, so one of the things that really um, is very active for me is that, again, going back many, many, many years, um, I would also I would always be the one who is waiting for external validation. So I would be I would only feel myself as worthy or my actions or my thoughts if someone from the outside would say, yes, that's right whether it be my parents or my friends, you know, my, my peers when I was a teenager. Um, and I, you know, what it made me do was it made me turn into this pretzel who kind of, kind of tried to bend in all these different ways to kind of just be okay as I was. And, you know, over the years, I've taken many different steps. There's been lots of healing and, and exploring around this. Um, and up until this day, I was just saying, I have this inbox that's full of messages with people that say you've changed my life this work is so important you know you're such a role model in what you do and still there is days where my brain will go but is this good enough is this worthwhile to put out are people going to really you know, get value from this so I'm ready to take another layer into this journey and claim the full brightness of who I am and what I'm here to do and am I perfect? Hell no, <laughs> I will never be perfect. And of course, I, my mind knows that's not, you know, that's not even what it's about. Um, but this is why we're doing this work, why we're calling this theme in. Our minds know so much. It's about the way that all these other parts in our bodies and our emotions, all these patterns that we run that are so intertwined with these can I say it? Fake ideas on worthiness. Ah, that's like that, feel, that work feels so tainted nowadays. Um, but that all these ideas that just that just don't hold true. Um, we're ready to dive deeper and say yes. Let's shed another skin of that stuff so that we can all shine. 
And you, Paloma, what's how how is this theme showing itself for you? Mm. Um, first of all, I uh, really resonate with what Sigrun was sharing. It's the exact same for me. I've always been the diplomatic peacekeeper, uh, preferring not to express my opinions or truth. Um, and then also for me, um, I just, I still have to pinch myself often. Um, it's like, I find myself so solidly in this reality where my livelihood is coming directly from my, <clears throat> my gifts, this kind of sensitivity that I've always had, this, this curiosity for this, for the soul, for consciousness, for personal development. Um, and it just makes me realize like how it wasn't always this way. Um, this, this little package, this little treasure trove inside of me, that's how I see it, speaking of metaphors. <laughs> um, it, um, it used to be very locked away and it was it, in my childhood and up until about five years ago, which is when I discovered this work um, because I was given the, the reflection from the external that that wasn't valuable, that in fact, it was a bad thing. Um, and so it was a real process for me to take that treasure and, and I wanted to hide it away. And there's part of me that actually still wants to because I don't want it to be spoiled out there where people can, can tell me it's not a good thing. Um, but for the most part, it's out there and I'm using it and I'm filled with so much happiness in that, in that, in this new reality where I'm doing that. Um, yeah. And, and it's because what I, what I wanted to say is it's really because I discovered this community and Anamik, I'm definitely one of those people that's, that tells you all the time, like you've changed my life. And <laughs> like I, this community, this, um, has really been that, that new reflection that I needed that's, that's telling me, yes, this is a beautiful thing that you have to offer. Um, and now I get it from my clients as well. So it's like, I'm rewriting the story and, <laughs> and it's a beautiful process. And nonetheless, like you were saying, and I mean, there are still these, it's like a wave, right? There are still these moments where those um, old doubts will come up again. And I know now how to hold space for that. Um, I don't you know don't have to worry. They're allowed to show themselves. I just have a new way of relating to them. Mm. Yeah. That's so beautiful. And, and that's exactly why we're offering this, this retreat in community, right? Because this is work that we don't have to do by ourselves. It's like we can so reinforce each other and celebrate each other in, and helping each other see how that worthiness is innately yours. Um, and so this is the, the invitation that we um, are doing for everyone who's joining the retreat to find their own ways of linking into that worthiness um, and to, um, yeah, to explore, to shed that other layer and to do that one extra, extra step um, so that, you know, it gets to it'll be all so much more fun and nourishing to let everything flow. And so we would love to hear from you, you know, what you recognize or maybe what your theme is when it comes to worthiness. Um, let us know in the comments, right? We'd love to kind of get as much going here um, as possible because that creates richness and insights and possibilities. All right. See you soon. <laughs>